How's it going, everybody? C Rad TV back here in our video. So, of course, another week of NFL football upon us, which means it's time for the NFL Week 11 picks. So, so let's take go into this week's game and let's take a look at the picks this week. So, of course, four teams on the bye this week, and they are the Jacksonville Jaguars, Miami Dolphins, Seattle Seahawks, and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. So we have 14 games on slate this week. So last week with my picks, I went 8-6 and six with my picks. So my record for 2022 goes to 93-56-1. So yeah, let's go ahead. Let's jump right into it this week. So first game, we got our Thursday night game. We have the Tennessee Titans, Green Bay Packers playing in Green Bay. Of course, the Packers got that big win against the Cowboys last Sunday in overtime. I think the Packers start to get rolling. I mean, Tennessee's been pretty sus. Like, the only thing carrying that Titans offense has been Derrick Henry. I think the Packers could start to get some momentum back. I have Green Bay beating the Titans at home by a score of 27 to 24. Give me the Titans by three in this one. Now to our slate of Sunday games. First one, we got the Chicago Bears, Atlanta Falcons playing in Atlanta. Of course, the Bears lost to the Lions last week. Um, Atlanta's still bowing for the NFC South Division week because the NFC South has been a complete dumpster fire this year. I feel like the Bears will end up winning this game. I got the Bears in a low-scoring game, 19-18. to Give me the Bears by one point. Next game, Cleveland Browns, Buffalo Bills playing in Buffalo. Of course, the Bills have lost back-to-back -back games, you know. Losing to the Jets and then losing to the Vikings. How the fuck do they lose to the Vikings? I have no fucking idea. But the but Buffalo, I think Buffalo will get a good rebound game against Cleveland here. I think the Bills will win this game. I'm going to be 100% wrong with the score, but I'll give it a shot. I have the Bills winning 20-18. to 18. Give me the Bills by two in this one. Next game, we have the Philadelphia Eagles, Indianapolis Colts playing in Indianapolis at Lucas Oil. Of course, Philadelphia, they lost the, to the Washington Commies on Monday night, which means the Eagles are no longer undefeated. They have now, they're now 8-1, which means, that means every team in the league has lost at least once this year. So we will not have an undefeated se season this year. The 1972 Dolphins can now sleep easy. But yeah, um, Eagles, I think they bounced back this week against the Colts. It was pretty shocking the Colts were able to win on the road, win against Vegas last week, especially with Jeff Saturday as the interim coach and bringing Matt Ryan back in. So yeah, I got the Eagles winning this one 24-22. I got the Eagles by two. Next game, the New York Jets, New England Patriots played in Foxborough. In that very loaded AFC East this year. And actually, if you look at the AFC e AFC wildcard standings, every single team in that division is in the playoffs right now. Because the Dolphins lead the division, and all three wildcard spots belong to the Bills, the Jets, and the Patriots. I don't know. Could we have all four teams in one division make the playoffs? I don't know if it will happen, but it would be fucking crazy if that did happen. But for this game, I got the Bill, I got the uh, Patriots in this one because New England has had the Jets number for quite a bit. So I got the Patriots winning this one 24 to 20, Pats by four. Next game, Los Angeles Rams, New Orleans Saints playing in New Orleans. Of course, both teams, this would be a tank bowl. The problem is both teams don't have a first round pick. Because the Rams' first-round pick is property of the Lions. And the Saints' first-round pick is property of the Eagles. So, it's two teams trying to make their pick lose as much value as possible. The Rams are going to be without Cooper Rush for four games after he suffered an injury against the Cardinals last week. Stafford is expected to be back this week, though. I got the Rams winning this one against the Saints, 23-21. to Rams by two. Next game, Detroit Lions, New York Giants playing at MetLife. I got the Giants in a defensive game and a low-scoring defensive game. I got the Giants winning 18-15, Giants by three. However, I wouldn't be surprised if the Lions won, considering that Dan Campbell is 2-0 against teams five-plus games over 500. So I wouldn't be surprised. Next game. 
Carolina Panthers, Baltimore Ravens playing in Baltimore. Yeah, I got Baltimore in this one. I'm going to say Baltimore 23 to 20. Give me the Ravens by three This in this one. Next game, Washington Commanders, Houston Texans playing in Houston. Was like actually, along with the AFC East, the NFC East is pretty loaded because even though all four teams aren't in the playoffs right now, all four all have went records above 500. It's the Washington's in the basement, but they're five and five. So the NFC East is becoming a battleground division. I got Washington over Houston in this one, 22 to 19. Give me the commies by three. And for our next one, it's time for a tank bowl not many people give a shit about. So this tank bowl sees the Denver Broncos and the Las Vegas Raiders playing at mile high. It's a battle of two head coaches that should be fired by now. Between Nathaniel Hackett and Josh McDaniels. Like, Nathaniel Hackett, it's easy why he should be fired. He's a terrible fucking play caller. And he has no fucking clue what he's doing. And Josh McDaniels, he was a fucking... I knew he was going to be a fucking disaster the moment he got hired. Like, honestly, I'm surprised he didn't get fired after last week. When he lost to fucking Jeff Saturday. An interim head coach who was a previous high school coach. No experience in college or NFL. Only coach experience for Saturday was high school ball. And McDaniels got outcoached by that. He should have been fired right after the game on the fucking spot. But the Raiders, for some reason, they're keeping him around for 2023. I'm sorry, Ace Taker and company and everyone that wants to believe in the Raiders, but I don't, but I don't trust Josh McDaniels. He's an absolute fucking mess right now. Sorry, Raiders fans. Um, I got the Broncos winning this one because somebody's got to win this game. I got the Broncos 22 to 20. Broncos by two. Who <laughs> really gives a fuck about this game? It's between two coaches that should be fired, and it's going to be a shit show. Next, speaking of shit shows, our next game, we have two winning teams. Dallas Cowboys, Minnesota Vikings playing in Minnesota. Dak Prescott versus Kirk Cousins. Two QBs that suck ass against winning teams. Unfortunately, somebody has to win this game. So Prescott or Kirk Cousins, who do I think will shine the best? Well, so far, Kirk Cousins has really been balling out ever against winning teams this year. It seems like with the Vikings that Mike Zimmer was holding the team back from its true potential, and now we're seeing it this year. I think the Vikings will keep their winning streak going. I have the Vikings winning this one 23-22. And I think the Vikings will win, will now extend their winning streak to eight straight games. So I got the Vikings 23-22, Vikings by one. Next game, Cincinnati Bengals, Pittsburgh Steelers playing in Pittsburgh. Yeah, I think Cincinnati gets their revenge from week one. I got the Bengals 22-18, Cincy by four. Now to our Monday night game. Kansas City Chiefs, Los Angeles Chargers playing in Los Angeles. The Chargers, I thought they were going to be something, but they've been somewhat of a mess this year. I mean, there's always a chance they could still make it on wild card, but I still have my doubts with them. You can't trust the Chargers with a lot of things, though. I'm going to say this one, I got the Chiefs winning this one. I need the Chiefs sweep the season series against Justin Herbert and the Chargers. Chiefs win 22-20, Chiefs by two. Next game, our Monday night game, and this game is taking place in Mexico, our last international game of the season. San Francisco 49ers, Arizona Cardinals in Mexico City. Yeah, I think the 49ers win this one over Arizona. I got San Francisco 22-21, San Francisco by one point. Give me the 49ers in this one. But yeah, those are my NFL Week 11 picks. That's all I gotta say, and that's all right, I'll see you on whatever I make next. Peace.